Robert from Seattle Alabama. is in the house. Welcome, well, Robert. Good morning, Seattle. Good morning. Welcome, yeah, Philippines. Right. Linda Stony Plains. JD, NASCAR. Well, good morning. Good morning, Valenis family. This is Ted Wilson, proud to be your trainer for today's Saturday morning training call, 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. It's a gorgeous day out here in Western Canada. I hope that you're enjoying your day uh, wherever you reside. I heard Philippines on the line. I've heard all across North America. I think I even heard Ireland. A special good morning, good afternoon, good evening for those around the world that are listening in. And subsequent thereafter, the recording of this call, thank you for joining us today. My wife, Michelle, and I are proud to be Blue Diamonds in this company, and that's an exciting achievement for our family, and that's because of a great team effort and a great family movement. Valentis truly has been a blessing. What incredible products, incredible uh, results that people are getting on these, on these functional beverages, a simple marketing system with a simple message point click and share and you can build a business currently i'm in the parking lot of a golf course my son uh enjoying the golf tournament i apologize not being on a landline however thank you for your flexibility over the next 35 to 40 minutes i'm going to give you my very best i'm going to give you the cole's notes version of what we have done to build an incredible organization what we as a family as a company leaders everywhere around the world are coming what we're doing to build success specifically within my own organization what we've done to build lots and lots of diamonds and the processes that seem to be really meaning with a lot of favor and a lot of uh, duplication and uptake and retention for those that have industry experience within the network marketing or relationship marketing industry a division of the direct selling industry. Those of you that have experience, you know that the key to success in this industry is a unique selling proposition that's simple. It's understood from the first moment that it's presented. You also know that it's important to have compliance to a product line. If you're marketing a product line, compliance being defined as people actually taking the products, enjoying the benefits of the products, and when they run out, the opportunity to then to, and the desire to reorder. And then from there, the third component is the ability to share these products, the ability to share information, to get people interested immediately, where they too will then want to begin taking products and to participate in the opportunity to leverage their time to build a residual commission based on the efforts of a one-time presentation. That really, quite frankly, has been the sales path, if you will, of success of this industry. And in my 27 years, I've never seen anything more simple and effective as the Valentis selling proposition. I use the word selling because there is a transaction taking place. You do not require a sales acumen to be successful here. You do not need to be a professional sales person to be successful. You just simply need to be inspired the ability to point, click, and share direct traffic to websites, to share a sample with people, whether it's at the soccer pitch, at the PTA, um, at the lineup at the grocer store, however you're wanting to share personally, uh, locally, regionally, nationally, internationally, mailing out samples to colleagues around the world, the innovation of uh, Jane Lee, Rapshaw Alderson, and the Team Philippines movement, and their movement of freight forwarding services, being creative in their process, and getting products around the world in an expeditious matter. That's leadership. End of the day, this business is about helping people. And I knew a long time ago, ladies and gentlemen, that people, I believe innately, still want to help people. Do you believe that? Do you believe that people still have a human spirit of caring towards other humans? You know, Catherine Henriksen, or her husband, Lindy, a couple of weeks ago here in Vancouver, they touched my heart because of their incredible, genuine uh, love for people. The fact that there's no bravado, 
There's no narcissism. It's just about, it's a love and it's about people helping people. Did you pick up on that spirit for those 600 people at the convention? Did you pick up on that? I would dare say that most everyone in that room subscribes to that same philosophy of people helping people. I don't want to sound utopian, ladies and gentlemen. However, there's something unique taking place here. If you've just joined us recently after a record month of April, already the first six days into May, record week of May already. If you've just joined us, welcome. We want you to understand this culture that we are all subscribing to and contributing to is one of a unique movement. There is no lines of segregation in this company. If you're sidelined to me, no, I'm not going to work with you. No, this is a family. We are really, truly, authentically building a culture where everyone together achieves more, T-E-A-M. And we are working together in that spirit. I love working with legally speaking, sideline leaders like Mark and Peggy DeSalle, my sister from another mister, <laughs> my brother from another mother, great family relationships and great professional relationships. And so that brings me to my first point today of today's training call. Who are you in business with? You see, folks, these attributes of success of this business don't change. You need to know who are you in business with? Who is your sponsor? Who is your sponsor's sponsor? Who is your sponsor's sponsor sponsor? Who is your sponsor's sponsor sponsor sponsor? Going up line, traditionally speaking, what I like to call a success line, who has a vested interest in your business? You came in with a business builder package, four ninety nine, for example, plus a one time lifetime fee of twenty dollars. You have you have these websites. Now what? Well, within then, you know, my organization that I've been building and teaching, along with the great leaders in my organization, we are promoting a roadmap, having a roadmap for success. What is your roadmap? I know Mark and Peggy DeSalle, same thing, using the same roadmap. Many other people, uh, Felice Miller, for example, other great leaders of this company are using a roadmap for success. You can, you can download it. It's no charge, and it's a, it's a free website that's been built for all of the Valenis family. 12in24.life. That's 12in24.life. The roadmap is under the resources tab where it gives you 20 pages of information. I've joined, now what? And in there, it talks about getting to know who are you in business with, phoning your success line. Where do you find it? Under the enrollers tab of your back office. Calling your first three upline leaders is an important first step because it helps to acknowledge to your success line that you're in it to win it. You want to build a successful business here. You want to build a business where people are going to see you as a competent and confident leader. Until you earn your wings and that you feel that you have our compensation plan, our products, our culture, our messaging, a three-way call, a conference call, helping to collaborate and build your leadership index. Until you're there, your success line should be used for all of your follow-up phone calls, even if you have the answers to the questions that your prospects are asking you. You know because the roadmap and the various leaders like Triple Diamond Chris Lamont, 30-year veteran, has ta taught this for three decades. It's not about you. It has to be about demonstrating support. You have to do a three-way call to demonstrate that there is a team here. If you are the lone ranger, meaning that you are doing this business on your own, respectfully, sir, madam, you're going to fail. If you don't do three-way calls, you're not going to grow your business. I say it every training call. I've said it for 25-plus years. Because I, too, had to learn the hard way. <laughs> Back in 1989 to 1991, I failed miserably. Everything humanly possible I could do wrong, I did. And sadly, but necessarily so perhaps, that was my gr grooming ground, my apprenticeship of how to do MLM, the old school multi-level marketing ma mindset of being the Lone Ranger. It wasn't until I had a good mentor and someone that cared for me enough to say, Ted, you're doing okay, but 
It's not about you. Pardon? It's not about you. It's not about your paycheck. It's not about the car that you drive, about the suit that you're wearing, the watch you're wearing, the shoes you're wearing, the trips, the lotions and potions. It's not about you. You want to talk about a sack of hammers coming down on me. But here's a guy who had made, at that time, close to $15 million, the traditional definition of success, certainly in capitalism markets around the world. His perception of success, I wanted that success. So I listened. He then went on to say, you've got two ears and one mouth. <clears throat> Use them in that proportion. Again, pardon? You have two ears and one mouth. Use them in that proportion. Meaning, ask good questions. Take an interest in your prospect and shut up. <laughs> Respectfully, stop talking and listen. If you talk with your customers, your prospects, you ask good questions around their friends and their family, their occupation, what they do for a living, what do they do for fun, their recreation, and then ultimately the power question, is there two months, is there too much month left at the end of the money? How are you doing financially? You know, bottom line is if you build enough trust and rapport with your prospects, you learn about them. They talk about their favorite subject themselves. No disrespect, but we all love to talk about ourselves. We're emotional creatures. You engage them around themselves and what's important to them, their, themselves and their family. And it comes around to the time of asking the power question, how are you doing financially? If they've already indicated to you that they've got two jobs, or that they're working two part-time jobs, they're on a full-time job, they're having a hard time making ends meet, kids, private tuition, private schools, uh, you know, not having a vacation in three years. Um, they've actually haven't been able to purchase a home. They're still renting. They haven't owned a home yet in their life. Their old car is, is a beater, and they can't afford the, uh, the, the new tires or the muffler. They're going to give you clues along the conversation about how they're doing financially. The reason why I'm talking about this for a couple minutes, folks, is that sadly, but still true, a month or so ago, the Powerball in America was 1.5 billion B as in boy, and it got tons of media attention. Why? Because you see, folks, people feel that money, more money, is the solution to all their problems. Sad, but true. Now, many of us in this company, in this, in, in this industry, who have made a lot of money. We know, quite frankly, the truth is, is that more money just leads to more problems on a different scale. However, the fact remains is that money is the reason why people come to the industry of building leverage, of building a home-based business. Yes, we have products that are absolutely life-changing. Yes, we have products that have all-natural, non-GMO uh, gluten-free, dairy-free, they're phenomenal products that truly work, that even kids can drink. However, sadly, the scientific relevance of the ingredient deck of our products, the scientific or the, or the biomechanics of the body, the physiological applications, what's called the epidemiology of the product line, it's inconsequential. It has no merit in an exchange of prospecting. If people are trying to sell the merits of the products on the product's own value proposition, respectfully, you're going to fail. People don't buy just purely products for the sake of products. People buy emotion. People are looking for solutions that plague their identity. Their identity, what stares back at them in the mirror, are they thin or are they overweight? Are they attractive or do they see themselves as less desirable? Do they feel that their bank account balance represents some extension of their identity and their self-worth? Are people making decisions based on emotion? Absolutely. Look at all of your big life decisions wherever you might live. The home that you purchased, if you purchased a home, was it based on logic how many lineal feet from the schoolyard, how many kilometers or miles from certain work or interstate interchange? No. 
It wasn't a logical proposition. It was an emotional exchange, a connection to the picket fence and the and the charm of the backyard and the fact that you've got engaging neighbors that want to love and, and open you with open arms. It's an emotional exchange. The partner that you're with, it was an emotional exchange. It wasn't because his hair was 2.4 centimeters long and, and the right, uh, the right um, hue of chocolate brown and, in, and that he's six foot one and a half inches tall and he's got, you know, 24 inch biceps. No, it's not a logical decision process. It's an emotional one. Does this make sense? So why not then speak the emotional language of why people are choosing to do business with you and Valentis? That's why we conceived the 12 in 24 plan. Now, Dave Jordan, of course, has said publicly he loves the 12 and 24. He loves the fact that it's, it's creating massive success, massive retention, massive reorder rates. From a business standpoint alone, it's great. However, not everyone's going to buy into it, and that's okay. So let me just share with you briefly what 12 and 24 is, and maybe think for a moment as I'm sharing this with you, the emotional connection as to why it was conceived. How would you like to lose 12 pounds or 12 inches or any combination thereof within 24 days? You'll look and feel fantastic, and you'll enjoy a 30-day 100% product satisfaction guarantee. Here's how it works. Have a slim roast Italian dark roast coffee first thing in the morning on an empty stomach and go on with your day. An hour before supper, have a bottle of water with our delicious pina colada flavored trim crystals to continue your appetite control and appetite suppression and, and thermogenic burn, all other you know, benefits of the product. And then an hour before bedtime, another bottle of water with our delicious immune boost for the best sleep of your life, digestive support. You'll wake up feeling refreshed, ready to take on the world. You do that for six days, and you take the seventh day off as a day of rest. You repeat that for four weeks. Four times six is 24. That's your Valentis 12 and 24 plan. Now, what do we established, folks? The low-hanging fruit is the self-worth, self-identity, sad but true, the connection to self-image being the hook in terms of the weight loss body composition offer combined with the validation of the continuation of your control around eating, the appetite control, the, the fact that you're going to have the best sleep of your life, a massive industry in itself, sleep deprivation. Most people don't get but three, four, five hours of sleep a night at most, and that's not enough. And digestive support. Number one reason behind all ER admissions is digestion issues. Everyone has digestive issues. I also said you get the day off. People love to take a day off of going to the gym or a day off from going to the work or a day off of going whatever. Having a day off is a critical piece of that mix. And you simply repeat it for four weeks. Notice that we did not say this is a meal plan. This isn't a diet. You're not counting calories or sequencing your food. You don't have to follow a medically prescribed exercise plan per se. This is a lifestyle movement. We want you to move your body based on when you're ready to move your body. Seven out of ten people in North America are clinically overweight or obese, many of whom are stuck on a couch, can't move. They're tired all day long. They're falling asleep at their desks. They don't have any energy. From cup number one, bottle number one, bottle number two, after their first day, they say, I don't know if my, my mind is playing tricks on me, but oh my gosh, do I feel incredible. When they weigh and measure themselves once a week, notice I said weigh and measure. We ask them to do that first thing every Monday morning before they start their week of the 12 and 24. When you weigh yourself, the number on the scale does not define who you are. It's the inches, your neck, your bust, your waistline, your abdomen, your thighs, your, your knees, your calves, your upper arms, both sides of your body, folks. Track it. Page 20 of the roadmap has a simple document there you can fill out. And it's the inches, it's the functional mass 
It's the visceral fat that changes in your body that stares back at you in the mirror. It's the clothes that you get to pull out. Again, respectfully, many women have, have the skinny clothes box. Some are tucked in behind, underneath in the closet. Some of you are laughing right now. I know I can hear you. But it is true. It's the truth. Because of the vanity, emotionally charged industry that we live in. When you post on your social media feed, I'm doing the 12 and 24, people say, what is that? They'll, they'll PM me, private message me. Instagram, Twitter, whatever you're doing to message to people, your inspiration, the emotional exchange that I'm excited. Oh, my, oh my gosh, OMG. <laughs> I've lost six pounds and eight and a half delicious inches in my first week. I'm so excited. What? Tell me more. Tell me, girlfriend. 12 and 24 dot info. It's a short little one minute, six second video. We're teaching this, folks. I'm just giving you some of the bare bones basics, folks, how we've built a team of, of close to 12,000. Respectfully, I, I say that humbly. It's been an amazing journey. And that started really June the 1st of 2015. Thank you, Dave and Joyce Jordan. Incredible leadership, incredible vision. Hard to, hard to fathom some days, especially on Fridays. I'm just blown away. That said, this is what we're doing, folks. Now, for those business people on the phone today, look at it from a, purely from a commerce standpoint. What are we doing? We're teaching a three-box auto ship, a box of slim roast, a box of trim, and a box of immune. Three boxes, 100 points in the tree every month. 24 days, remember there's four-week program. You have enough product in, in the boxes, 24 sticks to a box, to do the 12 and 24 for one person in a month. Why is it then that the number one selling package is the advanced pack in our organization that, that I can see? The six-box, $199 package for people sticking their big toe in the water to give this, quote-unquote, a try? Because a husband and wife, two co-workers at an office space, uh, two partners, whatever, you get double the inventory for only $70 more. Instead of $129 for three boxes, $199 for six. Over 80% of the people that purchase the $199, over 80% in my organization end up upgrading and purchasing the $499 within two to three weeks because they realize quickly, <gasps> This stuff's amazing. <gasps> I'm going to be running out right away. <gasps> Sponsor, help me. I've got also my coworker who's excited who wants samples. My sister, my posts on social media, I've got people asking me for samples. What do I do? Right there, you're laughing. I know you're all, a lot of you are laughing now because you are, you're not in your head. Because this is happening all day long. That's why the business builder package is such an incredible investment of smart investment of your money because it gets you the best amount of the most amount of product for the least amount of money. But you don't know that if you don't know that. So you need to go through it. And fortunately you're not penalized in this company if you don't come in with a big package right out of the gate. Again, another abundance indicator of Dave and Joyce Jordan, who wanted to build this plan based on Average folk getting results, and they can succeed in a home-based business without any gotchas built into our compensation plan. So that's the 12 and 24 plan, and that's what we've been promoting, and it's working. So let's talk for a moment around the idea of recruiting. How do you engage people? What do you do? What do you say? There's lots of different leaders in this company that have different skill sets. You look at someone like Tommy Swoles, who is a is a fitness professional, him and his sister Sarah, incredible magnets of fit, a fitness movement. They're speaking more from the athletic empowerment and athletic performance perspective and engaging their clients who have been struggling with a sugar addiction, who have been struggling with, with, with calories in, calories out, and, and they are losing weight, but but maybe not as fast as they'd like. This is now a catalyst. They now see these products as being a catalyst to their fitness movement that they're so passionate about 
and what, and that we're proud of them for doing. You have other people. You've got people like Markham and Molly Hurd up in the Inland Northwest who are, you know, very passionate linear people, and they love to speak linearly. And I know that you're nodding your head and you're laughing right now, Markham, but, you know, you are a data person. You love data. Give me more information. Give me more information. So we've had to sort of, you know, Peggy and Markham had to work with you to create it just about a process. Go to this website, collect information. Follow up with a phone call. Instantly demonstrate support with a three-way call. The less you say, the better. And as a result, you folks are about to hit diamond because you've tightened up your processes and you've made it not uh, about the data as much as it's about an emotional buy-in. People are excited about the simplicity of what it is that you're sharing. I isolate these two examples because one's an athletic example, one is more of a linear information example, and they're both working. But at the end of the day, the common denominator is the emotional buy-in. People are looking for results immediately. No disrespect, but North Americans are habitually lazy. <laughs> They're looking for the biggest amount of return for the least amount of effort. Sad but true. So feeding into the emotional complex, showing people that these products can create incredible results in a very short period of time, it's like the silver bullet. You know, you had me at hello. So, uh, talking about the 12 and 24, 12 pounds or 12 inches, any combination thereof, 9 or 3, 3 and 9, 6 and 6, whatever, please recognize that we don't make any health claims. We don't have to. We don't talk about the science because science, again, respectfully, does not sell. Keeping it simple, folks, we don't have to make any medical claims. The money-back guarantee that Valentis offers is not tied to the performance of the products. I'll repeat that. Valentis, as an attorney general compliant corporation, has to offer a consumer buyback guarantee, regardless of reason. If you don't like the color of the boxes, within 30 days, ship them back for a full refund of the purchase price of the product. The shipping and tax, of course, is not refundable. That's a standard compliant buyback guarantee. And our return rate, by the way, is minuscule. I haven't talked to Dave recently, but but a few months ago it was like 0.03%, which is negligible, which is further indication of what? People love our products, they enjoy the results they're getting, and they can't live without their products. When it comes to engaging prospects on social media, we don't have to make claims. You don't have to talk about fibromyalgia or cancer or alkalinity of the body or having to make medical uh, derived or the connotation of a claim is simply say 12 pounds or 12 inches in a combination thereof within 24 days. Send them to that short little one minute video, 12 and 24 dot info. That's going to help to address 90 plus percent of the entire marketplace is going to say, what? Tell me more. I'm interested. I promise you. Now, when it comes to presenting the business, presenting the value of this, you want to be a, a storyteller, but you want to follow the same track as everyone else. You don't want to deviate. You certainly do not want to tell the whole story. You don't want to sell the farm under the first sitting. In fact, less is more. The less you say to engage the curiosity, getting people to take a tour on your website, is the key to this. In 2015, April 1 to April 1, Dave Jordan disclosed to his DLC that we had just a little more than 52% of the people that took a tour ending up converting to purchase product. So we can say that more than one out of two people are purchasing product at minimum when they take a tour. Well, that's good enough for me, <laughs> being a numbers guy, which tells me that my objective here is to get people to take a tour. Username.ValentisMovie.com or Username.ValentisTour.com or Username.ExperienceValentis.com. Those three different websites, Valentis Movie, Valentis Tour, or Experience Valentis, they all have the, the information to become a tour participant by filling out their name, their first and last name, their phone number, and their email, 
they're going to be immediately then inserted and put into the next spot based on the direction of your rotator in your organization for free. They're joining for free. They get access to a really compelling short video, and then the marketing engine kicks in. Thank you once again, Dave and Joyce Jordan. And the tour is a critical element because the, the professional drip campaign, we say the drip, it's like the proverbial dripping faucet, becomes annoying after a while, either turn it off all the way or take action. And the fact is that people are most often taking action because they were inspired by the video, something that was said in a follow-up email, and you, as the referring representative who shared your tour link, the system automatically indicates to you through an email that, hey, congratulations, Ted, John Smith is in taking a tour right now. Here's his information. Be sure to follow up immediately to answer John's questions. Once again, congratulations. I've taken it one step further when I'm prospecting, ladies and gentlemen. I tell my prospect, here is my tour link. Take a look at the information. The system is going to notify me when you're in taking a tour. Why do I tell them that, ladies and gentlemen? So that they can't just say, okay, I'll take a look at it, Ted, and they blow me off. They've given me their verbal commitment. I gave them my business card. I gave them a sample. In exchange, you are to take a tour for more information. And the system will notify me when you are in taking a tour. I will then call you back to follow up and answer the questions that you likely have. Do you understand, ladies and gentlemen, the, the power of that? And so when they do that, and you've got your iPhone, your Android, you've got your emails synced into your phone, you're checking, and all of a sudden, beep, congratulations, John Smith is in taking a tour, give him a call right now. What do you do? You call him. <laughs> hey, John, that was quick. I just saw you 20 minutes ago there in, in the grocery. No, wait, t t Ted, how'd you? Because the system just notified me that you're in taking a tour. Okay, well, look, it, I'm going to finish watching this video, and then I'll call you back. Great, I'll wait for your phone call. If he doesn't phone you back, you phone him back. He'll probably phone you back. When he does, that gives you enough time to hit up your success line at the start of this call. Who are you in business with? Who is your sponsor? Sponsor, 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 sponsor. You hit him up, you text him, you give him a call, say, hey, hey, Corey, I've got a prospect coming on the line right away here. Uh, the guy's excited. Are you available to do a three-way call quickly to say hello? Yep, hit me up. So when John phones me back, hey, Ted, I'm done this video. Uh, it's interesting. Does the coffee really work? Y you know, John, that's a great question. Please, folks, resist the qu resist the urge to answer. So you know, that's a great question. Give me a quick second, please. Add call. Corey, I got John. One second. Merge calls. Hey, John. Great news. I've got my business partner, Corey, in the line. He's been involved a little bit longer than me. He's certainly successful. He can answer your questions. I'm going to learn alongside of you. Corey, this is my friend, John. I met him in the grocery store here about a half hour ago, and uh, he's a real estate agent here locally. He's a great guy. John, this is Corey. Corey, this is John. You're done. Ladies and gentlemen, do not be the Lone Ranger. Because, you see, John has just been demonstrated by you that he himself can be successful here. It's not about Corey. It's not about Ted. It's about the fact that there's a team, that there's a system, and that, yes, John, you can do this. Because John has got, like everyone else, three months or less of savings in his savings account. If he loses his job, if the, if the market goes in the wrong direction, he's hooped in 90 days. He needs more money. Meanwhile, he's overweight. He has no energy. He wants to get back to the gym, but he can't find the energy. He wants to be loved by his, his partner. The emotional proposition. Does this make sense, ladies and gentlemen? This is what we've been teaching now for a year in this organization. And it's led to more than 30-plus diamonds, grateful. The company en masse, all leaders 
They're doing this. 43 diamonds in this company, folks. Legacy positions. There's going to be a thousand diamonds making a six-figure income in this company in the ensuing year years ahead. Are you going to be one of those diamonds? I, I'm serious. Are you going to be one of those diamonds? If you're nodding your head and saying yes, I can hear Sinitra Hutcherson right now on mute. I'm laughing with you, girl. But yes, yes, and yes. But you have to follow a proven system, folks. Do not deviate. Do not be the lone ranger. Now, if you want to demonstrate the effectiveness of duplication at the recent convention, we had the opportunity here around this incredible ditto talk, the ability to direct someone collectively together to do a presentation. You have a script on your screen, and your prospect has an interactive um, a presentation on their screen that they actually can uh, press the screen, they can click on, on forks in the road to direct the traffic and direct the direction of the presentation. It's the ultimate equalizer. And at this point of the call, I'm going to bring on Mike Boccia, star six there, to come off and mute. Mike, I want to say thank you for bringing on, being on this call for short notice here on a Saturday. Yeah, can you hear me, Mike? I can. Hi, Ted. Hey, Mike, good morning. So, Mike, clearly, Ditto Talk is a proprietary patented technology that, that Valentis Corporate saw the incredible genius of it quickly. You guys went hard to work behind the scenes to create a cutting-edge, simple, duplicatable, high-impact presentation for people that want to see the whole story. I'm going to throw the baton over to you for five minutes to talk about Ditto Talk and how do people get this technology in their hands? Go ahead, Mike Bacha. Thank you, sir. Yeah, so um, uh, we're so proud to be working with you guys, and it's proven to be a tremendous success with you. So just to give you an idea, those of you who don't know what Ditto Talk is, it's a way for you to effectively tell the story uh, perfectly uh, from day one. So we're striving for instant duplication. So we like to say we can clone your top person without all the messy DNA stuff. So what we did is we cloned Ted. Um, we had Ted do a presentation for us, just like I'm sure he's done for many of you guys. Uh, we turned that presentation into a fully scripted, interactive, full-on multimedia presentation. So the way it works is you sign up for Ditto Talk. When you log into your account on your screen, you'll see a script. And all you have to do is read the script to the prospect and hit the down arrow. The down arrow advances the script. You would then call your prospect and say, hey, do you have 15 minutes? I want to show you what I've been doing lately. Um, or, you know what, our company's just given us some cool technology. I'd love to practice it with you, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. They say, sure, what do I have to do? You say, go to a website, healthynow123.com. They go to the website, they enter their first and last name, and that's it. They are now connected to your computer. So you don't have to send them an email link, and they have to say, well, enter this meeting ID, download this software, none of that stuff. You call them on the phone while they're in front of a computer. They log in using their first and last name. It connects the two computers. So, again, on your screen, you see a full script. You read the script, click the down arrow, their computer comes to life with graphics and animations and videos. So I know a big challenge for a lot of people we spoke to at convention was explaining the comp plan. Well, now you don't have to. In the middle of the ditto talk, it asks them, hey, would you like to see how we get paid? They click yes. It goes right to a short video, and it'll show it'll show them the comp plan. Um, so tremendous way to, to uh, build your customer base, build your affiliate base, they are, in, they are actually, as Ted said, interacting with the presentation. So there are questions throughout it, and you'll say, hey, you see um, a couple of choices on your screen. And go ahead and click your guess, click your answer. So it's not like a webinar where they're checking their email and getting caught up on Facebook. They're actually paying attention to you. They're clicking things on the screen. The choices they make on the screen change the presentation, change your script. So you never feel off guard. You're always able to use the exact words Ted would use when he were doing a presentation. So, yeah, it's working. We've been using it. We beta tested it for a few weeks before convention. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks after. 
We've taken your feedback, tweaked it a little bit, and made it even better. And the close rates right now are between 85 and 87 percent. So more than eight out of ten people you present to will choose at the end to become a customer, uh, go into business with you, or send you uh, referrals for people who might want to uh, do one of those two things. So it's working phenomenally well. And I know there were a heck of a lot more people uh, in Valentis. There are a lot more people in Valentis than were able to be at the convention. We offered a heck of a convention special where um, Tito Talk is super cheap to begin with. We wanted to make it so that everybody could use it and not make price a factor in your in growing your business. So we made the price $15 a month. There's no setup fee. There's no long-term contract. You want to try it for a month, you can, $15. If you don't like it in two weeks, you know, we had a 15-day money-back guarantee. Just let us know, and we'll refund your money, no questions asked. Um, so it's $15 uh, a month, and that's U.S., um, or $99 a year. So you save like $80 if you purchase a yearly subscription. And what we did at convention, and we'd love to offer it to you guys as well, I put the uh, the special back up in uh, – to give you guys a chance that we're in that convention. So we, uh, again, 15 a month, 99 a year. Convention special was 125 and you'll never pay again. So wow. unbelievable uh, way to kick off the use of DivaTalk and have everyone get it and, again, not make price an issue and grow in your business. So I put that special again online. You can see a video of how it works online as well. And the website for that is Valentis Demo, D-E-M-O, no spaces or dashes, just ValentusDemo.com, and you'll see a short video so you can see how it works. And then if you'd like to sign up, you can. And, uh, yeah, we got that special up. We'll leave it up for another 48 hours till the end of the weekend yeah, so you guys can take advantage of that special, too, even if you weren't at the convention. Do whatever we can to help grow your business. And, uh, again, you guys have been offering tremendous feedback, and we've been taking that feedback and running it by Ted, and he – says, yes, make that change, and we update it. So it's it's a, a work in progress and continuing to get better. So keep that feedback coming, and we will continue to improve it. So right. we are happy to be working with you guys, and uh, we're here for whatever you need, training calls, webinars for your team. Just let us know and shoot us an email with any questions at support at dittotalk.com, support at dittotalk.com, and we'll hit you right back right away. Thank you so much, Ted. Appreciate the time. Thank you, Mike Botcha. And just to be clear, you are not a representative of Lentis. This is your business. Uh, this is not an affiliate program, so no one's making money off of this. This is a you're a 100% authentic third-party vendor, and uh, this is a corporate-approved uh, uh, a platform. And we are excited to be uh, partnered with you at Ditto Talk. This is innovation at its finest, and we can't thank you for your tireless efforts, Mike Botcha. Ladies and gentlemen, as we look to wrap up this morning's call, I want to sort of maybe sort of leave you with one last thought. End of the day, for things to change, you must change. For things to change, you must change. If you're doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result, that is the very definition of insanity. I believe Einstein co uh, first coined that. So why don't we do something different? Let's change the vector that you have attempted in previous companies, perhaps, in this industry. For some of you, you've been burned by the stake, so to speak, by other companies that have changed comp plans, changed products. Uh, greed factor has reared its ugly head and, and has really disappointed you and your dreams as your family, and you dare to dream again. For others, you have no previous experience but you recognize that working 50, 60, 70 hours a week for really no advancement, no real career uh, tra uh, trajectory, and you're just barely getting by. For others, um, you know, you, you basically have chosen uh, certain people in your life that you feel that would support you in this direction, and, and it's just not there. All I'm saying is, is that for things to change, you must change. Make the decision, like so many of us, once we get to that point, that breaking point, that we choose to put pride in the back seat. We choose to be coachable. We choose to say, you know what, I'm open. 
tell me what I need to do, follow a system that's proven to work. Ask someone like Barry Hughes. He's made it public, so it's not like I'm speaking behind his back here. A year ago, he didn't know how he was going to pay his mortgage. A year ago. This past week, he had a record week. It was a five-figure, significant five-figure check for him for the week. Barry had the decision a year ago to say, you know what? <laughs> Respectfully, what I'm doing is not working. Would you teach me? Could we partner up? Could we do something together? I'm open. And he did. Other examples, Mike King, Double Diamond, another record week this last week, close to a five-figure check for the week. Here's a guy that was a high-wire power contracting company owner. The owner gets paid last, multiple employees, the feast and famine tied to the price of oil in the energy resource sector of, of, of Alberta sick and tired of missing his family, the events, because he's out working while the family's out pursuing their dreams and their goals. I'm not trying to put salt in the wound here, Mike, but the fact is, is that you came to me a year ago and said, Ted, I'm open. Would you teach me? I'm, I'm at a place in my life that I'm in you know, early 40s and I'm missing out bigger parts. You know, I want to do what you're doing. Teach me. So at the end of the day, these are two examples. There's countless examples. I'm asking you, if you're truly open to change and you want to create success for you in your life, ask for help. Talk to your success line. Work through your sponsor, 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 sponsor. Go as high up as you have to until you feel that you're getting the opportunity to be mentored, to be taught, to be encouraged, to be given uh, redirections when necessary, to be reminded that the Lone Ranger does not win this race, to process yourself so that you can duplicate yourself with the power of Ditto Talk, the simplicity, the technology. Today, folks, there's no reason why you cannot be successful. The only variable is the amount of inspiration and the amount of perspiration. Everything else is a fixed standard. We're working with the same set of tools that you're working with. Declare your victory. Make a commitment to yourself, to your spouse, to your family, to your sponsor, your sponsor, 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 sponsor. Make a public commitment on Facebook. Sign page 12 of the roadmap. Take a photograph of it on your phone and text it to your sponsor. Make a commitment to be here 12 months from now and be a student. Put pride in the back seat and plug in. I promise you, your success line, your leaders promise you. Our very CEO and our founder and head visionary, Dave Jordan, he promises you that you will be successful when you plug in and make this your final stop, your final business chapter, because you're inspired, you're coachable, and you're willing to plug in. Welcome to all of you who have just joined us in the record month of April, and a special welcome to all of the newest customers. Thank you. Thank you for inspiring us through your example. Stay the course, enjoy this journey, and share this gift. You are the messenger of hope. Pay it forward, and you will be very well taken care of. From Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada, this is Ted Wilson wishing you all a very great day and a great evening wherever you reside. We thank you for your attention, and we thank you for your trust placed in Valenis. Until Monday morning kickoff call, have a great weekend. Bye for now.